Okay, class. This evening's lecture is about limiting reactions. Now, so far we have done enough stoichiometry for you to be able to work out how much reactants we have in each uh, in the equations and how much products that we're likely to get out of it. Okay, so we've been through that uh, last term. Now. What we're looking at here is what happens if we put reactants together with different amounts. In other words, what we've looked at in the past is the ideal amount. All the reactants get used to produce the products. But over here, we're putting different amounts of reactants together and we're going to see which one of those stops the other from taking the reaction all the way okay so let's have a look at this one here and I'll be able to explain that uh, much better to you okay all right so number one consider the reaction where aluminium is oxidized by hydrobromic acid okay and produces hydrogen gas and aluminium bromide so the first thing we need to do is produce our equation for this, okay? So let's have a go at that. Has anybody, have you had a go already? Okay, so we need a balanced equation. All right, so first of all, what have we got? I'll just use a different color. So what have we got? We've got aluminium. which is a solid, okay, and to that we're going to add hydrobromic acid, HBr, can you see that, yeah, okay, and <coughs> it tells us that we're going to get aluminium bromide, and hydrogen gas. So aluminium bromide, okay, will be an aqueous solution. Hydrobromic acid, also an aqueous solution. And as a result of that, we're going to end up with uh, aluminium bromide and hydrogen, which is a gas. Okay, now the first thing you need to do is balance this equation so that you can work out the mole ratio. So what did we learn in high school? Balancing the equation means having the same amount of atoms on each side of the equation. Okay, so you proceed with that and I'm going to walk around and just have a look at what you're doing, okay? Okay, do you remember how this goes? It's good, yes? Okay, so, so aqueous meaning that it's in a solution. All right, that means it's a liquid in a solution. All right, okay, it's in a solution. Bromine is already a liquid. Okay, so hydrogen bromide is is a um, is an acid. Okay, in a solution. So AQ means in a solution. All right, okay. All right, so there is your equation. So get that down. And then see if you can balance that equation, okay? Okay, good. So did you balance the equation? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that looks good to me. Is that what you got to? Yeah. 
And you've done chemistry already. So I don't see no one doing it. Okay? A little bit. Well done. Okay, good. I'm impressed. Okay, good. All right, so, so, so the first thing we're going to do, we now have a balanced equation. So um, how many aluminiums do, are we going to have? Two. Okay. Hydrobromic acid. Six. Okay. And that's going to give us how many moles of aluminium bromide? Two. Also two. And what about hydrogen gas? Three. We're going to get? Three. 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 Good. Okay, excellent. So now we can have a look at this. So what's nice about this particular question is they've already told us how many moles there are. Okay, so two things have happened. One is, one is that we're given the number of moles of aluminium, which is 3.22 moles. And we're also given the number of moles of hydro, hydrobromic acid. Okay, which is 4.96 moles. 4. 96 moles. Okay, so let's have a look and see what would happen how much if we if we had 3.22 moles of aluminium given that the ratio of aluminium uh, aluminium to hydrobromic acid is 2 to 6. Okay, that's the ratio 2 to 6. And we've got 3.22 moles of aluminium. How much? How much? How many moles of um, hydrobromic acid would we actually theoretically need? Okay, so what would we need in theory to react 3.22 moles of aluminium completely? Okay, so. This ratio is one to one, two, three. one to three. So therefore, if this is three point two two, this is going to need to be nine point six six. Good. Okay, so it's three point two two times three equals nine point six six moles. We can see straight away what can you tell from this now? What is this telling you? We don't have enough. We don't have enough hydrobromic acid. If we were going to use all of the all of the aluminium, okay. So without going any further, we can say that this is the substance, the reaction, the reactant that is limiting this reaction. Okay. So the reality is that we would still have some aluminium left in the beaker, wouldn't we? Okay? We would still have aluminium left in the beaker if we if we use if this is what we use. We would need to have 9.66 moles. We don't have 9.66 moles. So now let's say for instance if we have 4.96 moles how much how much of the aluminium would be used up completely? 1.65. Good. So in this case, we're going to divide it, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be 4.96 divided by 3 equals, you gave me a number? 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. Five moles. So what we need is 1.65 moles of aluminium to use all of the hydrobromic acid. Okay, so if we, if we have more than 1.65 moles of aluminium, 
we will have some aluminium left over, won't we? Do you agree? Yes. Okay. All right. So the, so the question now asks you... The question now asks you to... Uh, it says, how many litres of hydrogen is produced? Well, at this particular thing, we're going to say that this is at... This is at... Um, at 20 degrees C and 101.3 kilopascals. Okay, so 20 degrees C and 101.3 kilopascals. All right, that will be the conditions for this particular reaction. Okay? All right. Okay, so it says how many litres of hydrogen is produced? What do you think? This is what we've done. We put 3.22 moles of aluminium with 4.96 moles of, of hydrobromic acid. How much do you think, how much can you calculate of uh, hydrogen will be produced in this particular thing? Let's see if you understand what this limiting uh, uh, um, issue is. Okay, so what I want you to do is work out, given these conditions, 20 degrees C and... 101.3 kilopascals, okay? Those are your conditions. I want you to work out how much, um, how many litres, what volume of hydrogen gas will be produced. Is it on 2.475? Four? On 2.475. Is, uh, is that the answer you're giving me, is it? Yeah. I, 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 let's work it out together. That's your answer, that's okay? All right? That's okay, we'll come to that and we'll see if that's right. Okay. It's, um, it's asking for hydrogen for this one, right? It's asked for hydrogen, yes. Okay, can I have a look? It's okay. Okay, 2.45, you're saying there's a number of moles? Yeah. Okay, but I want to know how many litres. Have you finished? Okay. Okay, good. So I want to know how many litres. Okay, so yes, I can see that you can work out the number of moles. Alright, so the so the number of moles of hydrogen is going to be two thirds, isn't it? Yeah? Alright, so we divide it by two, multiply it by three, yeah? Okay, so Okay, so it's two thirds. So sorry, it's three over two, isn't it? So it's so it's divided by two, so it's three over two, not two thirds, it's three over two. Okay. Times three point two two moles. Think of it like this. Okay. If we're using the 3.22, okay? Oh, using half the one. Okay. If, but it's a good. It's it's good what you've just said. Okay. Because in fact, if we use the 3.22, what's going to happen? We're going to end up with some aluminium left, isn't it? All right. But we want to use all. Of the, we want to make sure we use all of the hydrobromic acid. Okay, so we're not we're not concerned that we'll have some of it left. We want to make sure that we, that we use all of it. Okay, so therefore we would use three point two two moles. 
Now, if we use 3.22 moles, that would be too much, wouldn't it? Hmm? Yeah? We wouldn't actually be able to, to, we would not get that much hydrogen, would we? So you're quite correct. We have to use this number of moles, all right? Yeah. Okay? So this, if we use this 3.22 moles, we would end up producing 4.83 moles of hydrogen. But that's not right. We would not be able to use, to, to have this much hydrogen because we would not be using all of this aluminium, would we? Okay? We're only going to be using how many moles? 1.65. We're only going to be using 1.65 moles. Okay? Okay? So, it's 3 over 2. So, in fact, this will not work. Okay? And what we actually need is 1.65, so it's 3 times 1.65 divided by 2 is equal to how many moles? Uh, 2.475. 2.475, okay. <laughs> Good. So that tells us how many moles. Now tell us how many litres is that? How many litres? So what are you going to use to, to work out how many litres? Uh, uh, the, uh, the weight of the, the Wrong. So you're going to use? Okay, but what are you going to do? What is the formula you're using? Uh, um, M equals M. Uh, we, okay. No, we're not looking for the amount of grams. We're looking for the litres, the volume. Okay? Remember this? PV equals NRT. Okay? So V equals NRT over P. And don't forget, what's the value, what, what are we going to do the pressure in? Is 101.3 kilopascals. And the temperature? Is uh, two, 293. 293 Kelvin, good. Good, so temperature equals 293 Kelvin. Very good. Well, in what condition is it? Twenty degrees C which is 293 Kelvin and 101.3 kilopascals, okay? Oh, it's C, okay. Which is one atmosphere, right? Okay, I'll just fill this in. It says which, if any, is the limiting reagent. We've agreed. We've agreed that the limiting reagent is HBr, hydrobromic acid. Okay, and then we've got to work out how much more in grams of reactants might be required to complete the reaction of all, this should say all both, all both, all both, Reactants, okay? Uh, is, the R, is the R still 8.31? Yes. Okay, so that's the constant. R equals 
three, one. Yes, that's correct. So it's two, nine, three, right? Of four degrees. Yes. It's not degrees, it's just Kelvin, okay? Yeah, I remember. Okay, it seems like everyone agrees. The number is 59.48 litres. Okay, well done.